Welcome to another video about stair building codes and the interpretation of them. And I understand some of these interpretations can be difficult. I even had problems when I was uh, trying to interpret them decades ago when I was uh, just starting out in the business. So hopefully this helps. Hopefully it makes sense. And um, what we're looking for here is the interpretation of what a progressively larger stair tread would be. Now, First thing I need to point out is that uh, there are no building codes that refer to this. This is a stair, the stair tread building code would like to have all of the stair treads the same size. However, they do allow for a maximum of a three eighths of an inch variation. And of course, this would be between the smallest and the largest. So if I had a one foot, um, wide step, the largest step I could have in the opposite direction would be one and three eighths of an inch. Now, if I had a one foot wide stair step and I had one that was an eighth of an inch smaller, and then I had one that was three eighths of an inch larger, then um, this isn't gonna work. The maximum distance between each step is three eighths of an inch between the smallest tread and the largest tread. So hope that makes sense. Um, now, a progressively larger stair tread is going to get larger in the direction of travel. So here we have a one foot, and we're simply going to add one inch to it. You know, if we went from just this step to this step, we are violating our stair building code. So progressively larger stair steps will be a no-no. You can stop watching the video right here. You know, I understand that... Uh, a lot of people out there are creative and they get off the charts creative. And this is something, this is where I think the question is coming from. Somebody wants to do something a little different. And uh, in order to do that, you will need to check with your local building department to make sure that uh, you can or cannot do it. Now, I'm providing you with the interpretation of the international building code books. And, um, and I will put a reference number to the stair tread building code that I'm uh, talking about and the page number of that. Um, so it can make it easier for you to find it, hopefully. And in case that didn't make sense, let's just go ahead and provide you with a straight set of stairs, 12 inch wide steps, progressively larger steps, and then what the stairway would look like. And you're probably thinking, no, nah, this isn't going to be a big deal. I could walk up and down this. They're not worried about you as an individual. They're worried about everybody. You know, if this stairway is at your house, you're going to get used to it. If um, this is a public stairway and a uh, hundred new people walk up and down this every day, this is what they're worried about. So if you're going to build something like this, um, just because it's not allowed in the building code books um, does not mean that it might not be allowed by your local building department. They might allow you to do it on a private residence um, that will be between you and them. There, realistically, um, building codes vary from state to state and sometimes county to county and city to city. So um, you just need to be aware of that. Don't be surprised if you go down and you ask them and they say no. And if you build it anyway, you're like, hey, you know what? This is my house. I've, I've heard this a lot. It's my house. I'm going to do what I want with it. Um, then, you're, then you could uh, have some liability problems if you build a stairway and it is not, it doesn't meet local building codes and you did it without building permits and someone falls down the stairway you could be in for one heck of a lawsuit. So I'm just throwing that out there. I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but you've got to be educated. You've got to understand that some of these things are not worth doing, no matter how creative you um, think you are or you want to be. And I hope I'm not forcing you to go in the opposite direction by telling you not to do it. Just give some thought to it. You know, it's a stairway. It needs to be functional. It needs to be something that you can use without falling down the stairway, without getting injured. And these building code authorities have put a lot of time into figuring out what works and what doesn't work. So keep that in mind when you are deciding whether or not you want to do something like this.